Hey guys, today we are going to do a video and show you um, this little holder that I purchased and um, this is actually made for the Mavic or your other similar uh, DJI controllers where it clips in the side but it'll work for these type of holders too. Um, there is only one problem with it. Once you put a tablet in, it does like to fall out. I simply just made something to keep it in and I'll show you what that is. Let's push it up out of the way here. I made up this thumb screw. It's just a Allen head screw and then I put that thumb screw cap on it. That's something you can find at hardware stores. Uh, but this right here is a piece of plastic. It's called UHMW, and I simply added a uh, stainless steel uh, threaded insert into the back. And then I put this on the front, because without it, like I said, this just flips right out with the weight of the tablet, and you don't want to be dropping your tablet. So I just put it in like that, put my thumb screw back in and tighten it up. Now it won't go anywhere. Now I can tighten that back up. And it's nice and secure. It's tight. It will not fall out. So that's nice. And the other thing you can do uh, once you have your tablet in, you can also take a lanyard, neck strap, whatever you call it. This one I have from my H109. And you can, on this type here, you can simply clip it to the corners. And it'll hold nice and secure. And then put this up around your neck. And have your tablet in there. Rest your tablet, tablet up against your stomach. You can move your hands and it won't go anywhere. It stays perfectly straight. It's pretty well balanced with both my tablets, so that's an option. If you buy something similar and it doesn't have holes, just simply drill some holes in it and add yourself a lanyard and you're good to go. So that shows you that. And we're all hooked up here. So now what you need if you're going to use a tablet, I've got my iPad Pro and I have my... Um, Android tablet, which is a Samsung Galaxy, they call Tablet A, and uh, what you'll need is extensions. So basically I've just got a 12 inch lightning extension and a 12 inch micro USB extension, and then you're going to plug into the Hubson supplied cables, and it'll be able to reach your tablet. So. The only thing you need to do is when you're, you're, you're using your tablet is make sure that your connection here, on this case it's a lightning connector, is on the right hand side. So we're going to hook that up, put it in there, and then we're going to take this and it says TX here, phone here, we're going to connect this part to the phone extension. This is what I like about Apple. I can put it anyway. It doesn't matter. Those micro USBs drive me crazy. Because I always put them in wrong. So we're going to hook this up to the lightning connector port on the tablet. Let that set for a second. Let's put our battery in the Xeno just to show you that this works. And um, Currently, right now, I have an older operating system on the uh, tablet, and I don't think if you are updated up to the newest version, 12.1.3, I don't think it's going to work with the Hubson app. Um, so I've, I have not downloaded or updated my um, tablet in a while, and I'm running 11.2.5. Uh, and it works perfectly fine. 
and I'm told anything under, oh, I wish I wrote it down, anything under 12.1.3, I, I think I can confirm that it works. Uh, if it doesn't, there is a uh, link, if I can remember where I have it on my computer, uh, there is a link to let you downgrade to the previous versions on your iPad, your iPad mini, whatever it is. Uh, I also have the iPad mini and it works on that. I have an old version um, on that as well. So if you are, are completely updated on your iPad, it doesn't work on the Hubson app. Um, I will include a link if I can find it to where you can flash down to a lesser version, a previous version, and get your app working so you can use your iPad Pro, iPad Mini, whatever uh, iPad device you have, and uh, it'll work just fine. Um, I haven't updated on my phone either, uh, but I also use an iPhone um, S. Uh, 7s and I use a uh, iPhone 8 plus uh, they all work with the Xeno but I have not updated the operating system um, I usually wait to see if somebody reports and I see proof that it works before I actually do it but uh, maybe I'll update one of my devices and show you in the video maybe we'll update this one and uh, show you in the video if it does indeed work with the latest version or not but let's go ahead and turn on the quad don't forget take your gimbal covers off let's turn on the controller and I'm going to I've already been connected once, so let's close that out. Open the Hubson app. And the one thing you can do, or you're going to need to do in the app, is you're going to have to change it so when you flip your device, the screen flips with it. So on my iPad right now, it's okay. I don't know if I've already got it turned on that way. So right now, here we are on the interface. Let's see if it flips. No, so I don't have that option turned on, but I don't need to because it works fine. I need to do it on my Galaxy, I know that. Uh, so we'll show you when I hook up the Galaxy. So let's go ahead and plug into the controller. And you're going to wait for the icon to go from the controller to the relay icon, which we have. And it's telling me I have a weak GPS signal since we're inside. And notice it did not ask us to bind to our airplane, it says, I think, in the app, our aircraft. All you have to do is move the sticks, bind aircraft to current device. Click OK. GPS accuracy test. If you're outside, you're ready to fly, you're going to do it, but in this case we have to skip it. So now that we've done all that and I want to try to arm the motors, it doesn't tell me I can just go into uh, a low GPS setting. The Android tablet or the Android app, when you do that, it'll automatically let you switch modes. So for us on the iOS, if you notice now we're upside down. No, we're not. We're upside up. On that it's going to be upside down. But first we're going to connect the quad. We're going to be Wi-Fi. And we're going to, if you click refresh, if it's not showing, but it is showing. So you just have to highlight it and click connect. Okay, Wi-Fi is established. We're all connected. We're all connected. We have a weak signal. Let's see if it'll let us just go into uh, no GPS setting. Yeah, see, it does not do it for the uh, iOS products. So what you have to do is you have to go and set that up yourself. And it says aircraft requires a strong GPS signal to take off. You don't have that app option in the Android tablet, 
or Android devices because you don't need it and I'll show you why when we get to that. But we're going to select no so that way we can start with a low GPS signal. And we should be able to fire up. And there you go. So that's how it works for the tablet. Perfectly fine using the Perfectly fine using the operating system that I'm currently on. Again, I'm using iOS version 11 2.5. This is the iPad Pro uh, 9.7 inch tablet. And um, the new version that's available right now is 12.1.3 that I will need to update to and then try that. And uh, there is a new Hubson app version that is 3.7.0 uh, and the change within that is instead of meters for height and distance and for your speed uh, it goes to imperial units so you'll be able to have feet for your height and um, uh, distance and then miles per hour I believe it is for your uh, speed so no more meters for us here in the US uh, I know a lot of people in Europe think the metric system is the uh, only way to go and that we're behind in the times by not using metric but don't get your feelings hurt it's just what we do here in the US uh, you like your metric system. I like metric system too for certain things when it comes to measuring um, uh, equipment stuff at work, but anything else I prefer the Imperial. Uh, so I'm not going to get into that little, that little piss and match. So that's how we do it with the iOS. Now we're going to do the Android. Android is a little bit different and that's why I'm showing you both. Plus, I just want to show you that they do work. So let's unhook here. Move that aside. Give you another look here at the cables. I'll give you a link. It's just an extension cable, lightning extension cable, but I'll give you a link from Amazon. And then here you want to take the end that says TX, leave it alone, and then pick the end that says phone and plug in to your extension cable. And this cable doesn't look like it's plugged in all the way, but it is indeed plugged in all the way. Okay. So here's the end with my micro USB connection. Put it on there. Plug it into the tablet. and open up my app which I think I already have open and I'll have to shut it no I don't okay so let's open up the app and then here's where you'll see right now it's upside down but I have it set for when I turn my tablet it'll turn as well but only in the main interface does that work so Hubson this is something here if you could just fix in the app that would be great enter main interface and then now it's upside up so if I take it and flip it this way it changes so here's the other downside to it on Android when I go into my menu my menu is upside down <laughs> So that's something I wish Hubson would fix it might be like that on iOS as well. I imagine it probably is, but it works out fine on my iPad, so I don't have to worry about it. So our icon here changed from controller to relay. So now we're set up for our relay, but upside down is the way we're gonna do it, guys. I could flip it easily, but you know what I'm doing. Uh, put in Wi-Fi, connect to the Hubson, connect, OK, 
Okay. Now, the one thing here I want to show you with Android that I like is when I go to set the low GPS setting, it is in here. In iOS, it's right here, but not for Android. For Android, all you have to do is hit the sticks and it's going to tell you you have a weak signal and it'll give you the option to switch modes. I like that a lot. I wish they did it for this. Uh, just because when I'm doing something like this in the house trying to show you, um, it's uh, already, already just boom, ready to go. I don't have to go into settings, especially upside down, and uh, show you how to do that. Now, it automatically goes bound as well. So if you click the aircraft icon on my Android, it automatically goes into bounded. They say bounded. It's bound. Bounded is a word, but it's not a word for this portion, this part here. It's not a word for the hobby, um, which I pointed out in another video. It, it drives me insane. Sorry. Uh, but we're already bound. So if you recall, I had to do the binding already on the uh, iOS. Here it's done. I don't have to worry about it. Just want to maybe double check and make sure it says bounded. So now we have a weak signal. We want to start it. There we go. Weak GPS signal, switch mode. So that's what I really like about the Android app is it automatically does it. And it'll stay that way, so you got to be careful. Uh, close out your app and restart it when you go outside to fly. And uh, that way you're not flying uh, when you have your weak GPS signal. Plus, when you're outside, you, you want to do your, uh, your GPS accuracy test. If you don't do the GPS accuracy test, your waypoints, orbit, all that kind of stuff won't work. So now that we are bounded, uh, we should be able to start. And there you go. So that's how you control or use a Android tablet and the iOS tablet. Uh, the only thing you need to buy is the extension cable and it'll work just fine and a holder. And uh, you might have to just do a little modification on the holder. Uh, even if your holder holds it very well, it still might be a good idea to do something like that because the last thing you want to do is you want to you don't want to drop your tablet. Um, these tablets here are pretty cheap. iPhone devices or I, iPad devices they're not cheap. Um, I do not want to drop that. So securing it the way I did is the best way. So let's go over the versions for these. I already went over the iPad, but on my tablet here for the Android. Uh, this is a Samsung Galaxy, what they call Tablet A. Uh, it's a 10.1 inch. And uh, right now it's running Android version 7.0. And um, then the Hubson app 1.6.2. I have not got a notification to update the Hubson app on this yet uh, to get the Imperial measurements. Um, I do have the uh, notification on here but I have not made that update so maybe right now is a good time to go ahead and update my operating system and the app and then I'll get back to you in this video and we'll see if it works on the newest operating system and if it doesn't I'll just go back to my older operating system which I can do um, with a uh, link that hopefully I'll be able to locate and supply it in the video like I said. Um, I just want to point out that the other devices I use and I wish more people would do this in their videos is when you make a video with the Xeno the biggest thing with the Xeno is Hubson has got a pretty narrow window on perfectly operating devices. Um, so whatever devices you're using in your videos and if you have other devices that you know work with it, give that information to other people. Um, when you're putting something out on YouTube as an in, in, informative video, make sure you give the, give the information. So, as you can see, it works on my iPad Pro, it works on my Samsung Galaxy tablet, it also operates fine on my iPhone 7S and my iPhone 8 Plus. Uh, so those are the devices I'm using. 
I have not uh, uh, updated to the latest operating system of 12.1.3 on any of my uh, Apple products, so I cannot confirm yet that that works. But we're going to try it on the iPad, and hopefully it's going to work. So I'm going to do that next, and then we'll come back to, the, to this video and uh, give you an update and show you. Okay, just so you can see, it's verifying the update. I've downloaded it. Now it's going to install version 12.1.3. Turn it so you can see it better. Just so you know, I am updating it. Other guys will tell you it won't work. I'm going to actually show you if it will not work. That's a good reason to subscribe to my channel. I don't just tell you something. Uh, if I can do it, I'll do it. I'll show you. I'll, I think I'm the only one on, the, on YouTube taking my quad apart, showing you all the pieces, uh, putting it back together, uh, doing the modifications to it for those of you in other countries that uh, can't get the Hubson battery. So right there, that's a good reason to subscribe to my channel, so I hope you do. I really appreciate it, and as I've said in the past, uh, any money that I ever generate on YouTube, if, if I grow large enough, uh, will go to charity. I'm not here to profit. I just like to help. I like the hobby, and um, I really enjoy this part of the hobby right here, just doing things to help other people. So we're going to let this update right now and once it does we're going to hook it back up and see if we can connect to the Xeno. Okay so now we have it all updated to the latest operating system and I'm not going to update the app yet because if this works we want to make sure that's why it works. So let's hook her up. Plug in, turn on the quad, reminder always remember take off your gimbal cover, let's turn on the controller, and we'll plug in the TX end to the controller. Okay, so let's open the Hubson app. Enter device. Enter main interface. Go to controller or controls. We're set to Wi Fi. If it's not showing, just click refresh. Select the Hubson Zeno, click connect. So far we're looking good here, folks. All right, so now we want it to bind. I'm gonna hit the sticks. Bind to aircraft. We're going to skip the GPS accuracy test since we're indoors. Go into our settings. And aircraft requires GPS signal to take off. Click no since we're indoors. Now the big test guys. Does it work on iOS operating system 12.1.3? Yes, it does. That's good news. So it does work for the iPad Pro on the latest operating system. So anybody telling you that it does not work, I just showed you that it does work. I haven't done any update to the quad. I have not done any update to the app. I'm still running the previous version. 
and uh, it works perfectly fine. So now what we're going to do is we are going to uh, update to the latest app version for the changes it says Xeno increase the Imperial unit optimized connection guidelines so let's go ahead and do that update so now we're going we've got it set for Imperial units and now it says one foot and the distances in feet our speed should be in <clears throat> excuse me our speed should be in feet I mean miles miles per hour there it is speed 0.0, .0 miles per hour so that's great. I like that. I, I, I'd much rather be uh, reading feet and miles per hour versus miles, uh, meters per second or how many meters in the air I am. Uh, doing this for years, I know the distance, I can do the configuration, but it's, I, like to, I like having what my country uses. So uh, we do have that option uh, with this update. So this is the updated app with the updated iOS operating system. So the app is 3.7.0 and the operating system is 12.1.3. My old operating system that I went from was 11.2.5. Uh, so it works on both of those and uh, that should be the case for your iPad mini. Uh, that should be the ca case for your iPhones. Um, I would imagine if it works on this, it should work on all those. Uh, I could be wrong, but um, if it does not work, I'll put a link to where you can go back to a uh, previous version and get it working. Um, but this is great. I can, I can use my iPad with the Xeno, um, or I can use my Samsung Galaxy, and uh, both work. This is up to date the operating system I think might just now have a new update um, but I have two of these tablets and I know the other one works and it's completely updated uh, but I have two identical tablets like this and it does work so you should be good if you picked up anything from this video uh, please just give me a thumbs up um, I do like to see those thumbs ups uh, if you dislike me, dislike my video and feel the need to give me a thumbs down, that's fine too. That's up to you. Um, but uh, seeing a thumbs up to me lets me know that you got something out of it. You, It's not just because you're being nice or friendly. Uh, hopefully you got something out of this video and that's that's my main goal is just to make sure that I have informed you of something. Um, you may have already known 90% of the things I did in this video, but if you picked up just a small bit of information, whether it be this cable, uh, just give me a thumbs up. And uh, like I said, those of you who do not subscribe, please do. And those of you who do subscribe, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm very grateful to you people. And um, that's why I continue doing what I do. And with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. And everybody enjoy uh, your Xeno. Still proceed with caution. They're not 100% there yet. Still need some updates for this thing. We need some things fixed. Uh, the biggest problem is the disconnect. And uh, I would like to see that taken care of. So uh, everybody just keep it safe and take care. One last note, something I, as I packed everything up and got it ready to put away that crossed my mind that I forgot to mention, I meant to mention, is once we successfully paired these two devices with the Xeno, and even after the update uh, of my operating system and the app, um, it, does, it does function as far as it does connect, it binds. Uh, it, the motor start, but obviously we did not test features. Um, outside right now it is snowing and uh, I've got a very hard layer of ice underneath that snow and I am not taking my Xeno out and flying it, uh, but I will as soon as weather is allowing me to do so. Um, we're calling for snow for the next couple of days here. It's not heavy snow, but like I said, uh, we've got nothing but ice prior to that, and I'm not taking my Zeno out in that. Um, 
if anything were to happen and it hit the ground, it's like hitting a brick wall. Plus with the temperatures as low as they are, it makes the plastic brittle and I don't want to risk breaking anything on my, my uh, Zeno here. So uh, I just want to make sure I add that important note. Um, this does not mean all the features work. Um, the, the features that are currently working prior to doing this update should be working. I would imagine they are. Uh, I have never really had a problem with that, so, uh, but it is worth making mention of. So that's it. Thanks a lot. Take care.